Welcome back to the Kindred Kitchen. If you haven't been here before, I am Pam and V is behind the camera today. Hello. And I am going to be making a mung bean casserole, which I have made for years, but I'm doing it a little bit different um, this time. Um, so remember, go down below, like, subscribe, share this video, leave a comment and let us know how, how you're doing in your life. With our 50-50 plan, which is a starch solution, if you haven't read the book, Dr. McDougall's the starch solution, it's a 50-50 plate, 50-50, 50% carbs, 50% low starch veggies. And because we're doing that, I've changed up my mung bean casserole a little bit. And instead of putting mashed potatoes on the top, I am going to do my smashed potatoes, which we have done on another video before. So I just have some small potatoes that I've smashed and I have my veggie seasoning here that I keep at my house all the time. I love and I make that. It I make it myself and I will put the link because we've done this on a video before. So I will put the link to the, the ingredients down below. And I'm just going to top this. And then I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven. And I'm going to keep an eye on it, but it usually takes about 20 minutes or so for them to get nice and brown on the top so they're just a little bit crispy. And this will allow you to put as many or as few potatoes as you want on top. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and we'll come right back and do the rest of the casserole. Yeah. We popped the potatoes, the smashed potatoes with the vegetable seasoning into the oven and they came out nice and crispy. And rather than making it as a casserole, I'm going to cook this up in a pan. That way people can choose how much potato they want to add to their veg. Since there are um, already mung beans in here, which are a carb, um, it gives people an option. That's, that's the way I'm going to say it. It gives people an option. Okay, so for the casserole part, I have one and a quarter mung beans here that I washed and then I just cooked on the stove water. That's it. I didn't add salt. I didn't add anything. I just washed them, put them in a pan of water and let them boil until they are soft. And they're soft. And they're soft. <laughs> and you don't want a lot of um, water in here. Um, I mean, you can always strain these out because I didn't add any seasonings, but um, yeah, you want them to be pretty dry. I dropped a bean in the salt. <laughs> All right, I have one onion and you want this to be cut into semicircles. So just cut your onion in half and then slice it so that it comes apart nice and you have these nice long pieces. And then I have three leeks. And if you have never used leeks before, just make sure you wash them because leeks tend to be dirty. So I cut off the top and the bottom slice them in half and then give them a good rinse um, under the tap before I slice them up. But this is three leeks. I have two tablespoons of apple juice. I have one inch of ginger that V graciously grated for me. I have some dill and I, a lot of times I will use dry dill. I'll use about two teaspoons to a tablespoon of dry dill, but I had some fresh that we got at the store. And so this is probably about two tablespoons of chopped fresh dill. It's one, one package, one of, those, one of those plastic packages, you know, that you can get at the store. And then salt and pepper, and I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna add vegetable broth. I don't want a lot of liquid in this dish, um, so I will add it bit by bit, you know, when I need it. But I have my own vegetable broth, but you can certainly buy yours. All right, so I'm gonna take this all over to the stove and we're gonna get cooking. All right. Okay, so this is nice and hot now. Back it down just a little. I'm gonna add my onion and the leeks. I think it's called a mung bean casserole. That's what I've always called it, but I think the leeks are the star of the dish, if you want my opinion. They're so flavorful without being real strong. Okay, so I am gonna add just, you know, half a cup maybe of vegetable broth, and then I'm just gonna keep checking on this. It's a I'm gonna keep checking on this as I go. Let's get this cooking. I'm gonna add in my dill, I think, so it can season as it goes. And here's the ginger. And even my kids that never have, you know, young little kids don't like, or mine don't, like chunks of onion in their mm -hmm. food but my kids have always loved this dish. I think it's because it's mild. You know, there's one onion in here, but the leeks kind of balance it out. They're not real strong. No. 
And they, they add a good flavor in anything. Yeah. And that apple juice, just a hint of apple juice, kind of sweeten it just a little. I can add the mung bean now, though. Doesn't it look so good? Mm -hmm. This is another quick one. I think we've been doing quick dishes, maybe because we've been so busy. Probably. You know what I mean? That the quick dishes. Um, but this is another real quick one. You can cook up the mung beans at the beginning of the week and put them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And that way you have them pre cooked. I, I usually do that on the weekend. Like if I, if I kind of know. You prep you know all what, your legumes. Yeah, like I'll, that's what I do. That's how yeah. I prep. Like I'll boil my potatoes or I'll have rice on hand or, you know, yeah. I'll have some so, sort of non starchy veggie veg ready yeah or or a sauce ready for you know i'm going to cover this up and give it about five or ten minutes and then we'll be back all right so this is this is the mung bean casserole all cooked up you can see the leeks and the mung beans and everything are so soft i'm going to add the apple juice right now and i'm going to put in just a little bit of pepper like a quarter of a teaspoon i don't want much pepper because I don't want that flavor to be the predominant flavor. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to stir that in. Now, see, if I were making the casserole, which you, you know, you can do this. Put this in a casserole dish. Top it with mashed potato, no oil. I usually just mash mine with some vegetable broth, salt, pepper, some nutritional yeast. And then spread the mashed potato on top. Pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes to a half an hour. And it's delicious. But since I want to be able to control the portion, this is what I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like this. And now I'm going to plate it. Okay, so now we're going to plate it up. And you can see that there is a lot of veg in here, but there are mung beans. I mean, it was a one and a quarter cups dry, but once they cook up, you know, it comes out to a lot of mung bean. So I think what I am going to do, these are the potatoes that we cooked. I'm just going to put one on top to have with my meal. That's and I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to have any more because I don't want to, you know, push the 50-50 limit. Yeah. Um, so there you have it. The mung bean casserole. All right. My new mung bean casserole. <laughs> <laughs> or deconstructed. Deconstructed mung bean casserole, right. Okay, I hope you enjoy the recipe. Go ahead and give it a try. Make sure you're following us. Hit that like button down below and subscribe down below. And I really hope you try this. Follow us on Instagram to see what we eat every day. If you're curious about how we're losing all this weight, you can check us out on Instagram. And then we have our social, more social platform on Facebook. So make sure you're following us on Facebook as well. And I hope you have a great Christmas holiday. If you celebrate Christmas, whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. And we'll catch you next time. Bye now.